Welcome back. Time now for a rewarding performance sponsored by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Well, the Chiefs were rewarded with a three-time Pro Bowler when they signed Le'Veon Bell last week. Bell recently was released by the Jets, but says coming to KC is, quote, a good fit for my skill set. The Chiefs seemed just fine Monday night, rushing for over 200 yards led by rookie Clyde edwards helaire This is a reason why Hall of Famer Brett Favre thinks the addition of Bell wasn't necessary. Y'all take a listen. Mm. Well, they don't need him. I don't know uh, Le'Veon personally. I don't know what kind of guy he is. I do know what kind of player he has been, an incredible player. But they don't need him. They got a good thing going. And sometimes, sometimes, adding a player of Le'Veon's caliber can do more harm than good. I'm not saying it will. But, you know, think about it this way. What can they do with Le'Veon that they're not doing already other than feeling the need to give him the ball to please him, which is really all that you're putting him in for. So, Marcellus, do you agree with Brett Favre on the Chiefs signing Le'Veon? No, I don't agree with the great Brett Favre. But he has a Super Bowl ring, Marcellus. Yeah, yeah, So he, he can do no wrong. Yeah, uh, look, you know, Super Bowl, he, you should listen to him because no, that's Super Bowl. No, if that microphone was a football, I would trust him with it. <laughs> I do not trust him as an analyst. Hell no. I've been listening to Brett Favre since he retired for a minute. <laughs> he ain't watching no football like I'm watching football. But let's just say that. Not as astute as that I would expect. But that's... It's a different world. So look, playing football, playing quarterback to his level and doing what we do, hey, I'm not expecting too much. But it shows that fame is a drug because Brett Favre says this and people believe it. And they're only believing it because he's Brett Favre and he's famous. But if you really look into it, Brett Favre has not even studied his own resume, has not even studied his own history. You ever heard of a guy named Andre Bad Moon Rising? You ever heard mm -hmm. of Andre Rising? <laughs> he used to get on the goalposts and stick on them things. Oh, he used to get us a couple of times. He got us. Oh, did uh, Andrew, um, Andre Bad Moon Rising play with Brett Favre before? Yes, he did, actually. He played with Brett Favre and went on to score the first touchdown of Brett Favre's only Super Bowl championship. Oh, and I wonder if uh, Andre Rising came in as a malcontent, uh, had a reputation, also with a resume of production. Yes, yes, yes. So the point is, it worked for you. How come it can't work for the Kansas City Chiefs? All you want to say, they have an abundance of riches. And why do they need them? They don't really have an abundance of riches in the running game like you think. Let's talk about the rookie. Let's talk about Clyde Edwards Hilaire, who had a great first game and had a great last game. But people stopped watching in between. And he had four games where he went out there and averaged 51 rushing yards and zero touchdowns. You know who has more rushing touchdowns on the Kansas City Chiefs than Clyde Edwards Hilaire? Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, the quarterback, known for one of the greatest, if not greatest, arms ever, has more rushing touchdowns than his rookie, because he's a rookie. You remember your rookie year? I do, too. <laughs> you don't have your man bones. You are going against grown-ass men with no man bones. Uh, These dudes are changing diapers, getting yelled at by the wife, and coming in there with fully grown beards and 30 years old, ready to tap you until you get conditioned to the league and its rigors. So this is not a move based on luxury or want. It's actually a move based on need. I actually agree with Brett Favre, and he says that the signing could do more harm How? than good. Sweaty? Because to me, Marcellus, the operative word is just very simply could. That's the only reason I agree with him. Like, uh. it could do more harm than good. I'm not ODing and saying it will. I'm going to say that it could. I talk to y'all. Y'all know me by now. Y'all know I love these cards. Game of blackjack. The objective is to get 21. Marcellus, if I get two tens and I'm sitting at 20. Split them! <laughs> oh. No! Oh, don't do that. If That's I'm why I'm at the club. Because if I'm sitting at 20, bro, my hand is about as good as it can get. Almost. 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 It can be beat. But it's about as good as it can get. What, what I got 20. Showing? The only thing that they show on six. So the, <laughs> exactly, I won. Yeah. So the only thing that can beat that is 21. The only thing that can beat the Chiefs is about one or two teams. Mm. It's only about one or two hands that can beat the Chiefs. Man. Why would you risk it? Whenever Marcellus, you know this better than I, you're a smart mm. man who went to Columbia. Mm. Whenever you're making a business decision, you have to run what's called a cost-benefit analysis. I love you. You have to run a cost-benefit analysis. What is the cost of my decision, and what is the benefit of my decision? What is the cost of the chief's decision? The cost is, again, ruining the culture. And if not the locker room, ruining the culture of the running back room. <laughs> Just like I talked about A.B. and D.K. Metcalf, that is Antonio Brown. I talk about Le'Veon Bell and Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Athletes 
look up to guys that play their position. Ain't lying. Clyde Edwards Alaire probably studied Le'Veon Bell. Mm. Clyde Edwards Alaire was probably like, man, I want to be like Le'Veon. So now if Le'Veon's in the in a, in a running back room, you listening to the old vet. Hey, bruh, bruh, this and that, this and that. Is that what you <laughs> want for Clyde Edwards Alaire, who's currently number two in the NFL in rushing yards and number six in the NFL in receiving yards out of the backfield for running backs? Marcellus, it could do more harm than good. I just don't see how it's worth it. Well, Le'Veon doesn't have a leg to stand on. And it's amazing that power dynamic when it switches. When you're the rookie, but you got more power than the vet that you looked up to. Mm, I've been in that good. situation that's before. Good. And we've all been in that situation when you make it to the NFL, unless you come from riches and, uh, and affluence. When all of a sudden you look at your parents and you're like, I got more money than both of y'all combined, plus what you made in your entire life in this one check. And the power dynamic changes. But you know what happens in that situation? If you're Hilaire, you're like, you know what? What got me here is going to get me there. I'm going to listen to you and let you add, be a supplement to my, my meal. But I'm not going to let you take away anything that's on my plate. And if you're Le'Veon Bell, because you have run out of options, you got to be on your best behavior and your best production. I think this is an ideal situation. Because Le'Veon left Pittsburgh, sat out a year, and went to the highest bidder. Then you look at this situation now, he just wanted a job with a contender so he could dust off his reputation and find himself back in good graces. That's fair. I, I just, I consider this. The, the Kansas City Chiefs won, not went to, but won the Super Bowl with the 23rd best rushing offense. That's last year. Yeah. They used their first round pick on a running back. Yeah. Therefore, they currently have the sixth best running uh, attack this year. Okay. You went to and won the Super Bowl with the 23rd best rushing attack. You improve that rushing attack. You have the sixth best. How much more do you want? If, mm. if you carry in a bunch of groceries into your house and you try to carry oh, that last one, that that you last try one. to carry that last one and you drop everything. Bust. I don't want the Chiefs to drop everything because mm. they trying to carry that last grocery, which mm. is Le'Veon Bell. Like Coming up, like another superstar, that's Lamar Jackson. His passing numbers have people scratching their heads. I'll tell you why the reigning MVP peaked last year. What? That's next. What?